There is almost no industry in the country today that isn't touched by the icy finger of political correctness. One misstep or ill-placed word can get you tossed out on your ear, context or qualifications be damned. You can, of course, insult anything conservative that you wish and that is completely acceptable. However, anything that makes a person of minority ethnicity uncomfortable is grounds for immediate termination. In the world of music that boundary is especially confusing since those singing often say things that others aren't allowed to say. This should constitute a conflict, but it's still widely accepted. Apparently whoever decides the rules about political correctness is okay with songs with the objectionable language being written, just not being sung by others. A group of models at the Victoria's Secret fashion show found that out the hard way when they were videoed and put on social media singing a very popular song that some found to be objectionable. Daily Mail reports on the kerfuffle, and the ensuing outrage after the tweet went viral. Please bear in mind that the song was completely fine until it was suspected that a white person was singing it, then it became a problem. A group of the Victoria's Secret fashion show models have been slammed after a video emerged appearing to show several of the young women saying the N-word while singing along to rapper Carti B's hit song Bodak Yellow. Underscore, underscore the short clip shows several models, most of whom appear to be white, dancing around in their custom-made robes backstage before the show in Shanghai to the chart-topping song and rap the lyric, I don't wanna choose, and I'm quick, cut Anna off. So don't get comfortable. Underscore, underscore it's unclear exactly which women are rapping in the video since it pans around the room. But it starts by showing model Carly Claus for a few seconds, it's unclear if she rapped in the video. Underscore, underscore the footage was posted by a Twitter account called Pop Grave on Tuesday, with many social media users slamming the models and condemning their use of the word. Underscore, it's worth mentioning that even when listening to the video multiple times, the words are very hard to make out. In fact, it's reasonable to say that you would have to have already known the lyrics to be able to understand it at all. If a person has to know the song in order to understand what the girls are singing, doesn't it stand to reason that they supported it already? If this type of music were so objectionable, it seems like the way to stop its being sung by the general population would be for people to not make it popular, by not buying it. However, none of this kept the outrage from growing. Underscore the clip is believed to have come from one of Klaus's video blogs posted on her YouTube channel where it is shown at around 3 minutes in, though the part where the n-word is sung is not included. Underscore, underscore the clip posted by Pop Crave begins with model Ming Zai taking a selfie with a backstage worker before cutting to footage of Devin Windsor dancing with other models as Bodak Yellow is sung. It is not clear if Ming or Devon sang along. Underscore, underscore there are too many non-black people in this video for the N-word to be that loud. One Twitter user wrote. Underscore, underscore if you're not black, don't say the N-word. Point. Blank. Period. Another person tweeted. Underscore, underscore another Twitter user noted. Nah. That N-word was too loud and clear for there only to be one black girl in this room. Underscore, underscore one woman even called for the models to be fired. Underscore, as soon as it went online, many social media users slammed the models and condemned their use of the word. These sentiments, splitting hairs about who said what, brings up another question. If it's so objectionable to be called something, why do you allow some people to do it and not others? If a word can cause so much pain, as some words do, why don't we as a society frown on everyone saying it? And while we're on the subject of what society does and does not accept, we must remember that anyone is allowed to say just about anything they want at any time, under the First Amendment. What we're debating here is whether the double standard of some people being allowed to say something and others not is fair. Many would say that it is not. Victoria's Secret the company in charge of the models at this particular event, has yet to comment on the impromptu jam session, or if they plan to punish their models for singing a chart-topping song while goofing off backstage. They have every right to do so, and probably will if they consider the comments to be damaging to their brand, but the First Amendment might cringe a little if they do. H slash T, Daily Mail.